Hello, welcome to Lord Havoc's Marvel Champions custom content stream extravaganza. Uh, it's been a big day, big day, Good Friday here in Australia and uh, in other places around the world. So I hope you guys are staying safe and uh, spending time with family. Uh, Keeping in the theme of family for this episode, we have a custom hero, or actually custom heroes with a very unique design. Uh, cloak and dagger, although I've got them set up as dagger and cloak, I don't know why I did that. Um, it would have made more sense to, you know what, actually I'm going to swap them around. <laughs> Makes more sense to have them around the other way. Um, Cloak and Dagger, a uh, custom hero by Design Hacker. Um, they didn't come with HP tiles, so I'm using uh, X23 will be Cloak and Storm will be Dagger. Um, very interesting design here. This is um, as one would expect from, from Design Hacker. Uh, it's one singular hero made up of two mini heroes. Um, so they get bonuses when they work together. Um, hand size of three, hand size of three, hit points of seven, hit points of five. Um, and they have two separate decks of 20 cards each, roughly. Uh, and But they share the play area. So when you have an attachment like Endurance, it only attaches to one particular hero, so it doesn't doesn't get broken but the other any other cards that are in the play area are sort of are shared right it's interesting um, individual heroes controlled by a single player they have their own separate mini deck and discard piles um, during the game play cloak and dagger as individual heroes are separate hands but only one play area the forces combined upgrade allows the cloak and dagger player to combine resources with both, from both mini hands to pay for a more expensive car. When you would put an upgrade or support into play, attach it to one of your identities instead. The cloak and dagger identity is not attached to, it is not attached to, cannot resolve its ability. Okay? So you put sort of identity specific stuff with them. Um, this prevents cards like endurance, for example, from doubling its effects. What I'm going to do is this: these four card spaces here are going to be cloaks. These four spaces over here are going to be daggers, and the three in between, or sort of the four in between, are going to be uh, the two of them. If there's any that do both, uh, the villain only activates the other villain activates against the single entity, um, and depending on who is who is active. Uh, in hero form, it always prioritize attack over anything else. So if they're both an alter ego, it'll, they'll scheme. If one's in hero and one's an alter ego, they'll attack, and cloak will have to deal with it, and so on and so forth. Um, if they're both in hero, actually, that's a good question. What if they're both in hero? I get to choose, right? Yeah, choose. Yeah, so I get to choose. Cool. All right. Um, I randomized, uh, but. I got Thanos, and I was like, you know what? I can't be bothered. I've only got. I don't want to be on here all night. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm just gonna pick. So, full disclosure, I did randomize, but I'm not playing against Thanos. I can't be bothered. Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's stop mucking around. Um, Red Skulls to in one. One B after resolving step one. Blah blah blah. You all know how it works. I don't need to bore you with those details. Um, let's shuffle here, let's shuffle here, let's shuffle here. All right, so um, hand size of three. So let's do yours, and then let's do yours. Let's do it over here. All right, so there's his hand, there's her hand. Um, so it is really one big hand by using this. 
Uh, he's got reaction stuff. Dark teleportation. Dark force superpower. Radio friendly character. Then, if Dagger was ready this way, remove two threat from a scheme. Okay, so I don't want to use that just yet. And hers are thwarting. Factor defeat. Uh, we will attack. Remove a threat from a scheme for each damage you took from that of damage. Okay, they're all sort of reactive. Do I want to mulligan any of them? No, because I really don't know what a muggle is mulligan for. I didn't cheat and look at the cards. I should have. I probably should have cheated. Um, let's flip and let's take care of business. Let's just take it. Take care of business. Let's get rid of Red Room so we can just start beating the crap out of the guy. Uh, so between the three of them. But the, between the two of them, they can both thwart. Attack and defeat. Nothing against about thwarting there. So we're just going to go cloak and dagger will both thwart. Let's get through the red room. Oh, we could use attack. Oh, if we can use attack, then. You know what? I might actually just have Tandy do it. Because Tandy gets plus two attack. I forgot about that. Just leaves him. Well, I might as well just attack, right? Let's attack and use Sudden Strike. Wait, am I allowed to do that? I'm confused. It doesn't say anything about events. I can just use events on whatever I want. I think that's right. I can just use events on whoever I want. Doesn't say I can't. So he's hitting for three. Alright. And I think that's it. That's all I can do. It's ready and hand size of three. Draw up to her hand, hand size of three. Okay. One threat. After resolving step one, reveal the top card of the side scheme. It's prison camps. Okay. Red Skull is attacking because we're both in hero form. Um, cloak will defend. Red Skull is attacking for one. Plus where his boost is, which is two. Uh, Tyrone gets plus two defense, so he's good. So I don't even need to use either of these cards. So. I think I still will, though. If I use desperate defense. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use one of these cards. I'm going to use your pay for that, to pay for never back down, which gives him plus two defense, which he doesn't need, but since I took no damage, I get to stun the red skull. Why not? Why not? Uh, my turn.
Let's use chase them down to pay for Oh, you have to actually exhaust this in order to do the cross paying the cross payment business you've got to actually exhaust that card All right. uh, to pay for dark teleportation oh wait one second I don't need to just yet uh, I'm going to attack with dagger first do two points of damage three points of damage sorry because she gets plus the two attack uh, and then pay for dark teleportation who will ready dagger and then remove two threat from a scheme and then dagger will hit again for three All right so that okay so can't pay for cards in your hand unless you use this when you would spend resources on a card or ability, exhaust force combined. Yep, you may spend resources from both your hands for that card or ability. Yep. Okay. Alright, okay, that makes sense. Um, I think that's it. That's everybody. Let's reset. Uh, let's draw back up to three cards. Draw back up to three cards. Well, I'll definitely be using it to get wolf yet. Yeah. How do you pay a Dark Force card, exhaust Dark Force, absorption, shuffle a Dark Force card from Cloak's discard pile into Cloak's deck? It's an upgrade. Cool. Wolvie and Light Force Cleansing. Heal three damage from a friendly character. Two or more damage was healed from Cloak this way. Draw one card for each of your identities. Decks. From each of your identity's decks. Okay. Alright. Ready to rock. Threat. Get another side scheme. Reinforcements. Uh, he goes to attack but cannot because he's stunned. Oh, I didn't do encounter cards. I just get the one encounter card, right? I didn't do encounter cards last turn. So I'm going to do two this turn. Because I didn't do any last turn. And that's cheating. Caught off guard, discard an upgrade or support your control. I don't control any. Actually, I'll put these into my hand. I just need to make sure that I keep them separate, right? I just need to understand that they are separate. Um, I don't control anything. No guys, let's go this way, this card can search. Okay. Okay, surges into Hydra regular. Maybe it's insight one. And the other card that to make sure that we weren't cheating is a Hydra soldier with toughness. Okay, our turn. Okay, let's get well, let's get Wolvie out. I mean, it's pretty gut and dried, right? One. Okay, so let's exhaust that. One, two, three. Oh, it's his discard. It's his discard. He's discard and one to her discard. Okay, so let's get Wolvie out. Uh, he's under Tyrone, uh, under Tandy's control, technically. Um, He's going to pierce attack this guy for three. Take two consequential. And 
And then Could have got Wolvie in for free. Why did I not do that? That was silly. That was very silly play. All I had to do was thwart for one and bang. I got a free Wolvie. Uh, Alright, well, Dagger will attack. She can split her attack any way she wants. So she's doing three. So she'll do two to this guy and then. One to this guy. This guy is dead. Um, oh, Cloak should have retaliated for one before. Didn't notice that. I mean, I guess Cloak will just take that guy out or get me a. Actually, I think Cloak should this one off so that I can reduce his ability and get a ally. Have I got any allies in here? I don't think I do. No, I think she's got all the allies. She's got Wolvie and um, Tiger or something, yeah. Or Angel, yeah. Angel, I think. Tiger. Let's get Tiger out. Should have used it on Wolvie. Anyway, so he gets Tiger, or she gets Tiger, and then uh, she'll attack and kill this guy. And because after Tiger attacks and defeats him, he heal one damage from her. So she would have taken one as consequential, but she doesn't take it because she killed him. And that is, as we say, that. Reset. Um, that's her card, so she gets two more cards. He gets three cards. One, three. Dark intangibility. After Cloak makes a basic defense, exhaust dark intangibility. Oh, that's an upgrade. Ready, Cloak. You can retaliate one, so we go and run out of two. Raw Dark Force. After you spend this card on a Dark Force card, remove one threat from the main scheme. Each resource you overpay for that Dark Force card's cost. Okay. Light Force Cleansing, not a Light Force Cleansing, and we're going to turn off. Okay. Villain turn. One gets a side scheme. The Sleeper Awakens. Gets a tough card. Red Skull is attacking. Um, Young Cloak will defend. Uh, he's doing one, two, three. Cloak defends for three, so nothing happens. Oh, it's an upgrade card. Poo! Anyway, he retaliates for one. Cool. Uh, this guy then hits us for three. I'm going to say Cloak takes it. Oh, I can hear her interrupt. Let's do a forces combine. Moment of triumph will pay for a jump flip. We'll take any amount of damage. We had two of that damage. If you paid for it, 
using an energy resource, which I did, remove two threat from the main scheme. So one less damage. And we take off two from here. Okay, all right. Encounter card is Spreading Lies. When revealed, place two threat on each scheme in play. Bloody hell. All right. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. That's fine. My turn. Will be heals for one. He'll immediately attack this dude and do three points of damage. Two. Let's use light force. Pay for light force, which heals three damage. Um, if two or more is healed from cloak, draw one card from each identity. One, one. So what do we got? Dark force channel. To use up to three different enemies, deal one damage to each of them. Heal one damage from cloak for each enemy damage this way. Confuse the villain. Then, if dagger is in play, stun an enemy. Holy crap. And hand cannon. Um. I didn't really need to heal him, but I didn't know that at the time, obviously, right? So, there's not much I can do about that. I could raw Dark Force to put out Dark Intelligent in Intangibility, which means I've overpaid by two and I can take two thread off. This is too good to pass up. I don't get the heal, but I get two points of damage, and then I get to confuse and stun. I mean, that's that's pretty sweet, right? He's got retaliate. Oh, so that means Rilverine's dead. Poo. Because he has retaliate one. Wolverine's gone. Okay, so should be on. He should have three damage, and then retaliates back. Okay, cool. All right, that's fine. So he's got two left. So I can attack with Tigra and kill him. Move from the game. When it's defeated, remove this card from the game. So it doesn't matter if there was any threat on there. Tiger takes a point of damage from the. Uh, doesn't take a point of damage from Retaliate and doesn't take a point of damage because she defeated the enemy. So she's fine. So now do I really need to do this? I mean, stun and confuse, it's still pretty good, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Raw Dark Force to pay for Dark Force Channel. Deal one damage, knocks him into the next stage. Dealers encounter card. Um, what else does it do? 
Heal it, damage from cloak, it's done. And then confuse, and dagger is in place, so he gets stunned. So he gets confused and stunned. It was worth it. Worth it. Alright. Um, still not finished. We could use hand cannon. Oh no, we can't use it because we've used that already. So we'll just attack with daggers three. <laughs> cool. Reset and then cards. One, two, and one, two. Okay. Hero Light Force. So here's there's her version of it. After you spend this card on a Light Force card, deal one damage to the villain for each of those source you've overpaid. Okay. Alright. Cool. So. What have we got? Step one. Yeah, scheme. Mass chaos. Oh. Whose deck do I choose? Each player discards the top five cards of the deck and plays one, three, three area. So I'm counted as one player, so I get to choose. Who am I going to choose? Cloak. It's going to be a gentleman. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, so one, three. Okay, could be worse. One, two, three. It's usually four, so only three is actually pretty good for a change. Um, what's that? All right, then he goes to attack, of course, but he can't because he's stunned. And then we get an encounter card. We've got one from before. So we've got encounter card number one is Hail Hydra. Every minion attacks. If we can't, we go and find one. Um, let's grab that insight dude. Blink. And encounter card number two is Master Strategist. Goes onto the red skull. Give an additional boost card. Blah blah blah. Okay, our turn. Uh, Tiger immediately kills this guy and doesn't take any consequential damage. So that's that taken care of. Um, let's use Subdue to pay for Dark Force Intangibility. Use pure light force to pay for hand cannon. Comes in with how many cannons? Three. Uh, Dagger will make an attack, a basic attack for three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then Cloak will thwart two. And then we'll both flip. Because He's confused. Let's reset. Um, hand size is now is still three. So one, two for you, and one, two for you. Okay. Alright, uh, blink, he gets a side scheme. One, two, three. He 
he goes to the scheme, but he can't because he's confused. He still activates, right? The next time this character would pull a scheme. Does he still get a boost card? And therefore this goes away? Is that... Red Skull is stunned, he activates, gives the boost card and it ends the card and Red Skull attack but he's stunned, so the stun marker goes away instead. Did the boost card stay in play until the next activation or did the nasty bongo in his head completely foil his plan? The stun stops Red Skull from activating at all, you, you just remove stunned, then keep Master Strategist. I would not give him the boost card. Don't uh, I'm cute. Yeah, so because he was confused, he doesn't scheme and Master Strategist doesn't do anything. It's the same reason for why when you play Spidey, you don't get a card if they're stunned. Because they never actually attacked at all, despite the same fact that it says the word activation. So he keeps his Master Strategist, he just doesn't do anything. Uh, we then get an encounter card, and it is a side scheme, funnily enough. Bloody hell. Jeez, it's on fire. Um, and he's attacking for one, two, three, four, five. Plus two boost guards. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's immediately flip back to cloak and dagger. And what do we got? What have we got? Uh, Moment of Triumph and Power of Aggression will play Pay for Angel. Um, these are all defense cards, so I don't really care about that. Um, I think we can just kill him. Angel attacks for two. Tiger attacks for two. Dagger attacks for three. I mean, nothing's stopping this from happening. And then Cloak just sneaks in for the the sneaky one. Death. Well, that was pretty bloody easy. Like, uh, there's not really. Oh, actually, Cloak didn't even have to do anything. I could just shoot him. Candy can just shoot him for an extra two, so he's dead either way. Yeah, it's that seemed far too easy. I don't know what to make of that. Was are these guys just in ridiculously powerful, or did I just get lucky? I don't know. That seemed far too easy. The Red Skull got hammered. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Dagger gets plus two while Cloak is in play. She, He's definitely in play. So she's definitely attacking for three. Hmm. If I want to use the each other's cards, I've got to exhaust this. I don't think I've done anything wrong. I just think I just hammered him. 
Maybe I should change change it up a bit. Let's play expert. I don't think I can give a fair review because that was just too quick. Way too quick. Maybe I should have played Thanos. Maybe that's the universe saying, hey, you should actually have played Thanos. Had a bit, a bit more of a go. Um, yeah. I can give some thoughts though. Uh, the dual nature of how they work, I think, is awesome. It's just awesome. Um, I can't think of a better way for it to happen. When I mean, they share the same deck, but the decks are separate, they have their own unique cards of seven each. So they have the one that they share, which leaves you with 14, and then split the seven each, and then you make up the decks as is. Um, this whole aspect of this this is this is very thematic this using each other's energy um, is great dagger is ability to split her damage up is brilliant uh, yeah it's I don't know uh, the color scheme is, is cool the cards look pretty it's uh, it is very very cool um, I can see he's stuck with the. Are they still technically mutants? They weren't mutants when they first showed up. So they they are now officially mutants now. Um, I don't know what more I can say. I mean, they just they just work. I mean, they just just hammered. Uh, this is a bit clunky having it this way, but that's not his fault. That's, that's just the way the map looks. Yeah. I'm sorry I don't sound like super enthused. I'm very tired. I didn't. I got basically zero sleep last night. So yeah, some medical things. So I'm a very very tired man. But uh, I I assure you, I'm excited. Uh, I, this is this is how you do a, a team up type team, like a, like an actual a classic duo. Um, and you wouldn't use it for Batman Robin. It would be more. It would be more the super kids, Jonathan and Damien. I you could do you could do this setup for them, like something like that. You know the. The the classic duo. Um, where they're both sort of equal partners. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Another design hack of triumph. Um, I'm practically falling asleep at my keyboard, so uh, thank you. I'm going to call it there. Thank you very much uh, for watching this, and thank you to Design Hacker for another classic design hack, hacker design. I just, yeah, I mean, another winner. Um, I think he's got something up for contention for the next round of uh, seals of approval by the the community uh, they finished the last round um, and uh, what did we get so the last round let's have a look Yeah, so the last round we got um, Mantis by Blue HG, Captain Britain by Hitch, Jessica Jones by Eco August, Power Girl by McBobber, yeah, Power Girl, Superman by Beretta Beast, and He Man by Inkwire, and Gorilla Rod by My Man ES. Um, all got seal of approval, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, the nominations are have just finished I think for the next batch um, so the next batch of nominations that will now go into the voting um, there's a lot there's a lot of nominations uh, yeah too many to go through like, I'm not gonna bore you but design hacker has a hero in there puck um, 
which is very cool. Uh, I nominated Captain Scorps Batwoman because she is just a beast, uh, which means I wasn't able to. Uh, my second nomination was going to be for Flash. Uh, by ES, but luckily someone else nominated him because you can only have no nominate one hero or one villain scenario. So, um, so that's I'm glad. So both uh, Batwoman and Flash are up there, which is awesome. Um, oh yeah, Cloak and Dagger by Design Hacker is there. So Pucker and and Cloak and Dagger are there. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. I didn't even pay attention to that. That is awesome. Well, in that case, this game was was a seal of approval game, um, and yeah, I hundred percent will nominate them. I can't. I, it means I have to be a little bit more critical, um, so I have to look at it with more of a sort of a slightly critical eye. I think the insert needs to mention what happens with events. Just to make it painfully clear for dumb people like me that if you're paying for events from each other's cards, you still need to use this business. Um, just to be very, very, very clear. But the other one, the other cards, are, I can't really, I can't really. I'll have to go through them again. I'll go through them again in um, in expert and sort of see how they work. But at first glance, I think they work very well. I don't know what Tandy's other stuff. What, all, all we've really seen is her resource. And oh, here we go. Light Force Daggers. What a cool picture. That's an awesome picture. Deal a total of three damage divided among enemies as you choose. And stun the villain. Then her cloak is in play. Confuse an enemy. That's pretty cool. So it's the opposite. So really, they do the opposite of each other. Because she attacks for three anyway. Living Light. This card cannot be exhausted until the Cloak and Dagger player has dealt five or more damage to the villain in this phase. Exhaust Living Light. Ready Dagger. Cool. Light Force Absorption. After you play a Light Force card, exhaust Light Force Absorption. Shuffle a Light Force card from Dagger's discard pile into Dagger's deck. So they basically, so they're, they're mirror images of each other. Like each, each one's got a similar sort of deal. Like there's her upgrade card. Um, yeah. Yeah. So my only, my feedback will be missing, they're missing their HP counters. And according to the rules, they need to have those. So I'll put that there as my feedback when the forms opened up. Um, yeah, but I'm glad they got nominated. Uh, they deserve it. And I'm super glad I was able to nominate Batwoman and that ES had Flash nominated as well. Oh, he's got another one. Is there as well? Green Arrow. There you go. Very cool. Yeah, he's the man. Um, what's the scenarios? There's some Pokemon stuff as well, but I don't I don't play Pokemon stuff. Oh, Design Hack is in there again with um, Namor and Electro. Captain Scorps Reverse Flash. Scarecrow, that's a good one. Graviton, I enjoyed Graviton from XB. Um, I think they made a few changes so um, after I last played it. Yeah. Great round of characters. Anyway, I'm calling it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, have a safe and happy Easter uh, break. Even if you don't celebrate Easter, at least enjoy the days off if you get them. And uh, play some Marvel Champions. <laughs> Watch my videos. Uh, but as long as you stay safe, that's all that matters. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.